hear that uh, Langley's going to be there, Smoking Gun. Baby. Yes. <laughs> How'd you do that? Yes, Dean Haglin. Dean yeah. Haglin. And, um, yeah, that's so exciting. He's going to be doing photo ops and autographs all three days. And Saturday night, he's going to be showing his documentary, 25 Years of the X-Files. Whoa. Uh, well, imprint, so he's a researcher. 25 years. Yeah. And actually, his co-director, uh, Phil Lemes, is also coming to the convention. And... Uh, supposedly they're saying they're going to have a special announcement. So I have no idea what it is, but if they do have one, it's probably going to be a, a wonderful announcement. Probably something that's coming up in the future, maybe. Really? Or a new uh, venue for him. I don't well, know. Are you I'm not sure. The fandom? Are you carrying the fandom, the X-Files <laughs> wiki or anything like that with you, Corey, Ryan, McLaughlin, those kind of people, by chance? Uh, no, 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 I'm not. Recent wiki activity. Well, remember, now, we do Rick Allen Miller, and he was the one that helped get some of the first X-Files going. I don't know if it's the first six oh. or what. We've, we've interviewed him a couple of times, Dr. Rick Allen Miller, in this last week. Mm-hmm. So uh, we'll have to, maybe this can grow, you know, because maybe X-Files, I mean, X-Files will always be, it's like an icon. Now, you have, uh, exactly. how did you... How did you get this guy to come over? Did you have to pay him big bucks, or was he willing to negotiate <laughs> for a ticket if he could market? Or well, because, you do have yeah. to, you do have to pay a, a fee, uh, and you know celebrities tend to be higher than other people. Um, oh, but actually, sorry. what you do is you have well, yeah, <laughs> you have uh, what you do is you find out who 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 their agent is. Most of them have agents, and uh, so I went on this website. It's IMBD or something like that. Uh-huh. Anyway, yeah. Um, and you IMDb. can get um, their agent or their talent agency, and you can't. Uh-huh. So I contacted them, and then they contacted me, and then they go. They're kind of like the the middleman between me and Dean, uh, or or a celebrity, um, and uh, they help arrange the contract and what's going to be done, how it's going to be done, how long it's going to be done. Um, and that's where all the pieces of the puzzle come together. Wow, yeah, so you you're a brave lady. You're a brave <laughs> lady. You'd never done this before, and you became an organizer just like that? Yeah, for for this size. I mean, I've done small, you know, little conferences for work or for, like, a, for a couple of uh, agencies, but I've never done this scale at all. Janet, we got to um, keep her with us. You're going to have to get with us. Oh, lady. yeah. Agent, Valerie's consultants, cool. organizers. Oh, wow. I can't yeah. believe you're doing yeah. awesome. Yeah. Uh, Jamie can vouch for this. I can organize. I love lists. <laughs> I love researching. I can find things out, but I am not a techno person at all. <laughs> uh, I, that is my weakness. So I'm going to have to have a secretary who can do all that stuff for me. Because <laughs> oh, I can't do well. that. I, I can do very little of that. That's the one thing. I can, you know, I can email. <laughs> I can use the phone. Uh-huh. I've learned to well, type. Well, you have a beautiful <laughs> site. You have a beautiful <laughs> site, Valerie. Now, is that thanks to your friend here, Jamie? Are you the yes. data? Yeah, that's you do Jamie. Data? Totally, totally due to Jamie. Yes. My for original website was not great at all. It was terrible. And he has done marvelous work on it to update it and keep it updated. So that's him. Oh, all right. Well, we need both of y'all to stay in our little group. We have agents, <laughs> consultants, and organizers, and we do Aquarian and TJMRC T Radio. But I love the X-Files, and Janet <laughs> and I are doing uh, paranormal stuff, and she does events uh, so we'll have to keep you guys involved with us. I just mm-hmm. love David Duchovny. How do you say it? David Duchovny or Duchovny? I've used his picture for years. Duchovny. 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 Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And everybody, I can't believe this is what inspired you to do this huge event. It, can you get Mitch Pelegi? Remember him? He was well, like the FBI was, dude. Go ahead. Yeah, he was someone I considered. Um but um, for one for one reason or another, I didn't I didn't go with him. I think he actually probably would have been more expensive than Dean, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, if we keep this going uh, next year, 
we're going to have more, you know, hopefully more, you know, more people from the X-Files. I would love to have Chris Carter, have him one, uh, have him come to one of our uh, conventions. Um, and of course, David Jillian. <laughs> wow. I don't know if we'll ever. Oh, her, wow. but, yeah. Yeah. But, and David maybe get all the three lone gunmen together. To ask, you know, they're, they're making more appearances and stuff. So, uh, more and more paranormal conventions are coming up over the next year. And uh, so it's becoming a growing uh, interest um, across the United States. And you see Is more William and more maybe Davis? one day. I'm ahead. sorry, what? I'm sorry. Oh, Is William D.B. Davis. Davis a man. <laughs> Cigarette man. Yeah, I want him. Right. I really want him. He, I, maybe I'll get him out. I definitely want to get him next year too. If we if we have a second, if we do it again, I definitely want uh, uh, him. Um, I want him to autograph. Uh, uh, I don't smoke, but I want him to autograph uh, a, car, uh, a pack a pack of cigarettes for me. <laughs> and, okay. so, yeah. Well, that's awesome. He's a very I, interesting man. Let's just say you're going to have one at least every two years. Some people, when they start, you don't want to lose your momentum for all the stuff you do in one year. But it is hard for an organizer to, you know, or promoter or get promotions or get companies to back it for Rhode Island, right? When you're just doing it, you don't know all the little ins and outs. And that's why I was shocked. I mean, if you've absolutely amazing, girl, you are like superwoman. You need your own superhero fandom now for starting something (laughs) like this. I mean, well, really, this you. is awesome. Yeah, because Janet, Janet, tell her. Janet knows how hard it is. I write books about this. I wrote How to Social Network Metaphysics and my uh, on Amazon and uh, ACO Life Coach. And I've got all kind of books on what you're doing. But, uh, I mean, Janet just took a bull by the horns and did one just in 2018 for us, didn't you, Janet? And it's huge. Do a lot of work. Janet, you're, you are live, well, but she's just toggled. Yeah, you okay. Go. Can yeah. you hear me? Okay, there now, you go. Now, yeah. You can hear me. Paranormal okay. researchers. Uh, it's a mute. Let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. Um, so how many people do you expect to have, and how are your registrations going? Um, they're going okay. We we definitely, I believe what we're going to be seeing is a uh, upsurge of one-day peop- of, of people coming to the convention. Um, Daily, yeah. I think a lot of people are, yeah, I think a lot of people are waiting um, to see, make a commitment. And I find that a lot, especially maybe just in New England. I don't know if it's across, it's everywhere. It just seems that people take, they they make up their mind at the last minute, you know, because they don't want to miss out on something. You know, there might be something better or whatever. Um, so I think we're going to have mostly walk-ins. Um, um, yeah. Ra- I had a lot of people, people come in. I had a lot of people come in. Um, do you go all evening and all morning? Do you go uh, three shifts yep. or when do you? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah gonna... You're, you're going to get tired unless you have people that will take over and do ticketing. And they, right. they come all the time. I mean, they, you have initial registration, but they just mm-hmm. come whenever they want. <laughs> and so right. uh, it was really hard because I was doing it myself. So I was like, oh, I got to get something to eat. And then I have somebody watch it but they really didn't know what to do 100 percent. so it was like there's always questions when i came back like oh oh, oh. so i had to get all my meals <laughs> to go and <laughs> so I, yeah. I hope you yeah. you have some other people that can help your registration because and this is what three yes. days yes and i yeah, and actually so. that's one of the first things i did is uh i got my uh i got some good friends of mine actually are helping me with the registration and other parts of the convention and so they're going to be helping me uh, mostly with registration, some other stuff, so that we can um, – uh, so it won't be unjust. Because I knew I couldn't do it alone, it, especially the size of the convention I was trying to plan. Um, so I know I needed volunteers to help me. So um, so that will be So good. what is your capacity? Like can you have 200, 300, 400? What's your 300, 500. Room capacity. I believe, you know, we uh, we could have, I think 300 people would be excellent. I don't think it'd be yeah. too crowded there. Uh, so mm-hmm. that's what, that was that was my uh, number, uh, mm-hmm. 300 people uh, to come. Yep, and to. Alien tickets. Uh, yeah, what get time tickets. are you beginning? 
Now, listen, New Living Expo, if you want to look at that, they've been doing it 18 years. Now, they're over in San Mateo, and one of our uh, associates here, Ken R. Johnston Sr., is an astronaut, and he's uh, he worked with Grumman and NASA. And back in the day when my husband and I were down in NASA, for he's got 3,000 hours for just Grumman alone. But the thing is, he's a great speaker, and he's going to be over there at New Living Expo at the same time. So just a suggestion, look at who you're competing with over in California, but fortunately for you, they're over all the way over in California, but they've got 17 years on you. But you may want to look right. at New Living Expo and look at how they transform. They use body, mind, spirit, or mind, body, spirit. And that's what I worked with down here in New Horizons with Gulf Breeze. And I was a speaker at it this year. And we had an excellent turnout. And she also right. books 300. So, But we have people all day long, uh, every day, Friday, mm-hmm. Saturday, and Sunday, just so you know. And, yes, you have tickets. You sell them at the door right where they come in. And uh, mm-hmm. Erica Booserhain, if you want to Facebook her, she brought in, uh, she brings somebody in. She brought in James Van Prague, and he's ta- he's going to be oh. speaking at that one over there with uh, Ken Johnston. So we've got all kinds of speakers in our groups, agents, consultants, organizers, and speakers in mine and Janet's group right. called ACO Association. And so just keep us in mind and helping you in the future, and we may have to get something going with Janet again. Maybe we'll get you to come okay. over and bring some stuff. So the more that you get working with your team, the better it is. And then you hook up with other people like us that do them around the country. Or, right. or that way everybody, if they know what you're doing, you can get people that have different speakers. But you're really going for X-Files. But you paranormal event, right? And so uh, make sure you get known for that. And maybe put in body, mind, spirit for your exhibitors. You know, once they know you're doing it, so okay. just my suggestion. Okay. Yeah. Well, we have we have yeah we have similar conventions uh, in New England, like Body, Mind, and Spirit Health Expos. That kind um, who have a lot of wonderful speakers and uh, vendors. Um, um, yeah. And those are huge, and they you know they have grown over over the years, and um, and they have a yeah. lot of success. A lot of success. Yeah, so get some of their vendors list and call them. That's yeah. Get your girl, whoever's in your sales department or whoever mm-hmm. you got that's got time to do your sales and marketing during the day and get you some yeah. vendors in there that know. Because, you know, that's the hardest thing is people, if you've never done one, is, it, you know, bless your heart. The first, You're a plank owner now, though. This is your first one. You're, mm-hmm. you're going to have the deep pockets. Mm-hmm. Now you you don't have a, a big sponsor behind you from a, a one of the uh, haunted houses or all the tap people nope. or sci-fi behind you. No, no. Oh wow. Well, is there any way you <laughs> so can get come in touch on over with and, and yeah, come on, <laughs> we, come on over yeah. and come to the conference. <laughs> yeah, well, it's Rhode Island. There's got to be a about I, 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 I do, yeah, I do have to say I have learned a lot over the last year and a half, especially a lot. Um, and, uh, you know, you go into it. with I went into it with a big leap of faith, turns out. <laughs> I'm keeping my faith. Um, but I've also met some really in, uh, nice people, and I can't wait to meet them in person. And I've learned a lot. Um, and, and um it's something, you know, it's something I was thinking maybe doing more of, um, you know, over the next few years. We'll see. We'll see. I just got to see how this one goes. And, um, and and you know, and I have to say, you know, I the people I have, like Tim Weisberg, he's volunteered to be the MC. I mean, that alone was just, a, that was a gift. That was just a gift. Well, it's and a gift for Matt, him. Well, it's your first one. Yeah. He'll be a plank And owner. Matt Moniz, Matt Moniz, who's the who is the audio visual guy, a man who's going to be our um, audio visual person. He donated all his equipment. Um, he's you know, and they work together. And then Tom Reed. I mean, I'm I'm really the the people that are coming here, and I'm going to be able to meet with them. It's just a wonderful thing. It, it's just well, that's yep. going to be wonderful. Remember, you'll own the franchise now, and you will own all the YouTubes and all the ways to put behind a firewall if you want to. But Janet can teach you all that later. But it's just a blessing that you're doing it because it helps all the people there, just like Taps on the Sci-Fi Channel. 
But I would definitely get yeah. in touch with Sci-Fi and let them know what you're doing and the taps people and all the haunted houses and 